aspiring to come to Lagos and come and play. So MFM should be one of the best team in Nigeria. So I'm happy that three of my boys are with them. And one of them, I was told, even scored the first goal against Nasarawa United. And he's a defender for that matter. Okay. Can you give us um, a bit of extra information about those 36 Lions players that has made instant impact at MFM who in, in today's victory? Okay, uh, uh, the first one is Stanley Okoro. You know, he's been with us for like six years now. Wow. You know, we developed him, we sent him to under 17. That is the under 17 of Monday Ngige, you know. So came back home and he's been playing well since then. We went to under 23, had a stint with Siasia, went to um, Tunisia, you know, with him, but didn't make the final squad. To, 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 to go to Senegal, you know. So we came back home, we just told him, continue to do your job. When the time comes, you will move to a higher club. So going to MFM for him, it's a step forward in his career. You know, so he's play, he, he play, he, he double as a centre back and a left uh, and a right back for us. But for MFM now, I think he's playing a right back position. So that is Stanley Okoro. Uwaga Chuka, I got Uwaga Chuka from Gabros. You know, since 2010, you know, and I and I paid a uh, substantial amount of money for his clearance. Brought him to Lagos since he played amateur one with us for two seasons and got promotion for us to pro before we now transfer him to MFM. When, when MFM uh, 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 started their debut in pro, you know, so Chuka also is a centre back, uh, very solid. Uh, you, you you get to Chuka, you get to a brick wall, you know. So, and our story is called the first goal for them, so that's a wonderful one. And Dele Oshobe started also with us since 2008. You know, it was tiny and very young, but now it's a very, very stable midfielder, box to box. You know, he can go, he can come, he can stay, he can also attack when he wants to. You know, Dele played our amateur one with us for two seasons, uh, played pro with us for two seasons, without transferring him to Albania and Bulgaria before he now came back to Nigeria, you know, because things were not that easy for him in Europe. And, you know, as opposed to him wasting his time over there, I told him what LMC is doing for our league now is very good. You can always come back home like the Brazilians, like the Argentinians do when they go to Europe, come back home and play their league, get more power or get more experience or get more exposure and then go back to Europe. So that's why Dele Oshobe is back. So it's with MFM now and, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful thing for me and for the for 36 Lions as a whole. Okay, probably on a final note, um, you've run league football in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You've participated, you see the good and the bad side of it. Mm -hmm. You're talking about some good things LMC is doing. Mm -hmm. How well, what kind of advice will you give the likes of MFM in Colorado United playing from the state you are based in mm -hmm. to maximize in terms of the opportunities that are coming up now? Now the advice I'm going to give both Colorado United and MFM is they should try their best not to pity themselves and not to let anyone pity them, you know? Not to let anyone draw them back. Oh, you're working, okay? Don't see that you're working. You know, don't see that you're suffering. Just do what you have to do when you have to do it, you know? Have good key decision makers where they will do what they have to do when they have to do it. Because LMC are not joking. I wish LMC was here six, seven years ago, and I would have enjoyed it, you know. For being a board member at Lagos FA now, LMC is mine. If we do United, is mine. MFM is also my own. You know, if I have money to play with, maybe I'll come back to the, to the National League and get, you know, promotion to the Premier one day. You know, so on the not share, what I would tell them is they should please have no excuse for anything. If they have no excuse for anything, because football has only one story. And that story is success. So that is it. So are you saying this because of um, the things Stephen Aristos had uh, before they went into, you know, back to the country? Well, well, I wouldn't say. say, say Stephen Aristos is uh, 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 a bit, a bit controversial. You know, we have so many stories left and right. You know, but we football people, everything we hear, we tend to say is still a rumor until we certify the story or where the story is coming from. You know, don't forget, I always say, football is the only game that has, is the only sport with 90 minutes game and 90 million rumors. You understand? You know, Central stores now, they are registered for the FA Cup. They might come back. 
and I want them to come back because 36 Lions want to beat 69 Stars. We want to beat MFM, we want to beat the Corridor United. So if you don't see them back, you know, it's like going to a uni uh, being in a secondary school and there's no university. What do you, wh what do you look up to, you know? So it's not, uh, we can't blame stocks. We can't blame anyone. You understand what I mean? We can't blame anyone. You know, we just say, let's blame ourselves. Nigeria, pro Nigeria football problem is us. Who is going to solve it? Us. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you very much.